So here we are again. Today I'm dismantling a uh, Scythe Gentle Typhoon 1450 RPM fan. Quite how you can have a Gentle Typhoon, I've no idea, but there we go. So we'll start off on the back. I've just got uh, a scalpel or an X-Acto knife or whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to peel off this label. Easiest way is just to go in where the uh, cables come in and just start easing it up. Careful not to cut it in half if you uh, want to use it again and stick it back on. Just slowly peel it off like you would do any normal sticky label and eventually it will come off. And there we go. Keep that in a safe place if you decide to use it again. Or throw it away. Do what you like. Now inside the fan there's a circlip round the, uh, the fan shaft. And as you can see it's a little black U-shaped thing. And it can be a little bit of a bugger to get out. Sometimes you can just push open one side and have it pop off. Other times I had to use brute force and ignorance. And there we go, it's off. And it's weenie. If you're not careful, it pings across the room. So now that that's off, the fan should just fall out with uh, a bit of persuasion. I'm just pushing gently on the fan blades and as you can see it's uh, coming out quite well. Sometimes it takes the bearings with it. Make sure you push them back in. So there's the fan. I'll be uh, spraying that later on. It's quite a nice fan I must admit but uh, it's grey. It's boring. Moving on to the surround you've got the two bearings in there on this particular model and uh, just push them back in if they've if they have fallen out a little bit of a close up there of my finger why not onto the back of this the cables have a little nifty cable tie clip on this particular model it just pops out and it's just a U-shaped piece of plastic that holds them in place. And then uh, I can't decide how far I'd like to braid them up on these uh, fans, but I'm sure I'll work that out at some point. Now I'm going to skip a bit and show you some painting. Oh God, no, not more painting. No, okay, I'll give it a miss. Let's skip right to the results. So here we go, nice shiny green fan. Pop it in, give it a spin to make sure it doesn't catch on anything. And then it's time to put that god-awful circlip back inside. Apologies for the poor quality of the lighting on this video. I didn't realise it was quite that dark when I was doing it. The easiest way I've found to put this circlip in is pop it over the top of the shaft and push down with two uh, screwdrivers or something just to clip it into place. And here we go. All three fans. Let's give him a bit of a spin. They are very quiet, especially as I've muted the video. But um, they're very quiet indeed, and they do shift quite a lot of air. Uh, one of them tries to disappear off the table. Uh, almost like a hovercraft sort of effect. Thankfully I caught it in time. I'm just powering down again now, so I can get the effect of the the green spinny goodness. And that's about it for now. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Bye.